Good morning, folks. What are we doing? Is it hot in here or is it just me? I think it's probably just me. I should probably start a OnlyFans page. My fans page. Only fans page. Whatever it's called. Don't you think? There, that's better. What do we have going on here? That light's really shining in my face. I'm going to have to turn it off. Got to get this pick anyway. What entire nation do you have there, Cyrus? Alright, so I've been wanting to do something musical. Um, uh, so about 22 years ago-ish, I did a little bass playing in a band, and I enjoyed it. Um, I was only in there a couple months probably before my amplifier died and that killed that dream. So, a little while later, probably 15 years down the road, I bought another bass guitar and an amp. It didn't last that long and I sold it. And here recently I bought, borrowed a bass guitar from a good friend of mine, bass guitar and amplifier. This amplifier right here is actually the same one. Um, piddled around with it for a couple weeks and now I am borrowing his electric guitar with the same amp. Okay, So I'm kind of feeling the electric guitar or guitar in general. Um, the bass amp, I mean the bass guitar to me is pretty cool. It's fun to play when you're with others with instruments but I wasn't feeling it by myself it's not it doesn't feel um, harmonic enough I guess uh, where this here it feels like you could be a one-man band um, bass guitar doesn't really feel one-man bandish not at the level I was at anyhow but uh, so I think I'm going to try to learn guitar. So I may do a video a month of learning the guitar. Today is 7 9 22, July 9th, 2022. I actually started practicing on July 7th. We'll say July 7th is the start date. July 7th was the first day I had this in my hands to practice with. And I am using YouTube to teach myself at the moment. Um, there's a guy on YouTube called Justin Guitar. He's got some good free videos. That's what I've been using. And then just some other, other random things on there. We're going to see how far we can get along by ourselves and see what happens. So let's go through the gear that we currently have. This is what we are starting out with. We have the Squire BP-15. Okay. Now this is considered a beginner amp, cheap amp. Uh, home use amplifier, learning amplifier, not super loud, and this one's actually uh, geared towards that bass guitar I borrowed. It's a bass amp, but you can play the guitar through a bass amp. Um, so that's what we're using right now. Right uh, now, this thing here, 
is a beauty. I want you to get a good look at this. This right here, prestigious, beautiful guitar. Any guesses what this is? I had to look it up. Took me a minute to figure out what this was. Somebody put a baseball sticker on here. This is world renowned Esteban guitar. World famous guitar player Esteban had a line of guitars, mostly acoustic guitars, and then this specimen of electric guitar by Esteban. This is what we're going to start out on. Now then, you may be wondering who Esteban is. Actually, when I did the looking up, I didn't know who Esteban was. I probably have seen it before. Uh, he was real popular in the 90s for infomercials. He's a good guitar player, but he's a little bit uh, Fabio of the Home Network channel, you might say. So he sold some acoustic guitars, might have sold this on Home Network, acoustic guitars on Home Network channel in the 90s and early 2000s, I guess. And apparently the acoustic guitars were complete garbage. And He's got a lot of haters out there for that reason. And these guitars, electric guitars, uh, from what I've been told, that what I've seen are actually for the garbage he made on the acoustic versions, these are actually pretty good guitars. Very solid, pretty well made. There is so, there's a guy on YouTube, if I can remember to put a link or picture or something up, uh, he likes to collect these guitars. And for what they are, the price range that you could get them in the 90s and early 2000s, these are actually pretty well made guitars. And they've got two toners, volume, and then you've got your bridge, I guess you'd selector switch. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on the guitar, but when I first picked it up and got it, it feels pretty quality made. Um, of course, nowadays you kind of might want lightweight. They make some good quality guitars that are lightweight. This thing is a chunk. This thing is solid. It feels good. It feels, of course, I'm a beginner, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but as a person that just picks up a piece of equipment, it's like, well, that's got some stature to it. Um, so this is what we're going to practice on. Stephanie is getting me something special here in like a week or two that will replace this. Um, so maybe the next month guitar update, we will check it out. <clears throat> I'm doing a lot of rambling, sorry. Now then, one thing on this Esteban, it looks like somebody was doing some axing with the guitar or something, except for backwards. This thing on the headstock right here, looks like this chunk may have come off at one point because it's got a crack all the way through. Uh, it looks like somebody epoxied it back in. It's sticking, staying. And as far as I can tell, it's staying in tune, so they did a pretty good repair job on it. All right in there. All the way through. But it's staying in tune for me. All right, so let's quit yakking. don't know what I did with the pick. Here. Remember, this is a progression. 
and I'm going to give you my thoughts. Now this amp is pretty loud for here in the man cave. I've got this thing tuned uh, volume wise turned down pretty good. So the amplifier goes up to 10. I've only got it on like 2. tuning the guitar. Uh, I pretty much knew for the most part how to tune a guitar with a tuner. I used the phone app tuner. Uh, e A D G B E tuning. And so far I have learned now these I'm gonna play this very crappily. Here's a D and it's gonna take me a minute one thing I've been struggling with is this hand motion. I've been muting the bottom string, so that's my biggest problem right now. D. See, that's kind of mute. I gotta pull it out. Move my fingers. Right there. on getting this kind of crunk over here still. Experience wise, fingertips are hurting a little bit. It's been about two days. Fingertips are hurting. Uh, that's normal from what I hear. Now of course making my hand kind of Instead of going like this, I need my hand to go this way. And I need to cup it more this way. So my palm is not pinching that bottom string. Alright. So the famous Esteban. It's called the Esteban Midnight Legacy. Go check out Esteban. Esteban Guitar. He's actually pretty good. He's a Spanish finger picking guitarist. He's actually pretty good, but he gets a bad rep for his infomercials and crappy guitars. So if you're looking for an Esteban guitar, be sure to get the Midnight Legacy and none of his acoustic ones because they get a bad rap.
thanks for watching and hopefully month one uh, first month's progress will be good. <laughs>